So, you know, we at Publicis believe that what we are doing, or we hope to do, is help our clients with empowered marketing for an empowered age. Um, and most of our clients recognize they are dealing with the empowered age, that they're not behind their competition, they're behind their consumers. Um, in order to do that, their marketing has to be empowered, and it has to be empowered in two ways. One, it has to be more respectful um, and recognize that people are more in control. But secondly, it requires uh, to be enabled by technology. Uh, but technology in itself is not the answer. Technology to do three very simple things. The first is we're living in a world of data-driven marketing and if you can link to data, you can basically be more relevant to people. So the idea is not data, but it's relevance, which is important. And you know, the, the two things I learned at Leo Burnett when I was growing up there was relevance and likability makes for good brands. So there's relevance. The second is that the funnel, which we talk about, has collapsed. The customer journey is many. It still there's a customer journey, but your customer journey may be different than my customer journey. So we call that Commerce Plus, where marketing and commerce come together. Again, to make that happen, you need technology, e-commerce and other kinds of technology. So when somebody is in an impulsive mode, they should be able to execute a buy really fast. And the third and the last one, uh, which is where the likability comes in, is how do you tell stories in new ways? which is next generation storytelling. And that basically is how do you connect to APIs, which are some of the companies you saw today, which is in the case of um, you know, Outbrain is one, but you know, clearly mass relevance is sort of an API company. The other is how do you quickly create at scale, which is what you saw at flight. Uh, and over time is how do you measure the impact? And that's still the unknown question. That's what we believe. We are, we, are, we are very big believers in video. We believe that video will continue to be probably the single most important thing. Approximately seven years ago, we launched what we call the broadband upfront because we said we were gonna be living in an era of visual engagement. We still believe we're living in an era of visual engagement. It might be video, it might be, you know, GIF animated images, but still sort of like Vine, which is sort of video oriented. But there'll be three things about video that'll make it even more powerful. The first is that it'll increasingly be able to be more targeted and more controlled by the viewer because it'll be delivered through IP-based networks. That's number one. Second is it'll basically have embedded into it the ability to interact and make transactions. Uh, and third is it will basically go across glass. We don't use the word screens because we think screens is very backwards. Uh, it's across glass because in effect, some of the most interesting uses of video will not only be things like Google Glass, but so the next Nike fuel band, what Apple and others may come out, will be wearable glass. There'll be glass in your kitchen, there'll be glass on all kinds of stuff. And you, we can basically see a world that is IP delivered across glass with APIs that allow transactions.